So the front repair section has now been, I've fitted that in place and I've welded it. I've seam welded it down the joint. Let's have a little look, close up of the welds. Quite happy with that. I've got quite a nice small weld running down through there. So, and up there, there's a few blown holes in there. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna probably not so much up here, but I'm gonna grind this flat. Now I can see, and then I can just refill the bit. So this will be sanded flat, this section here. Panels welded in now. I think I'm happy with that at this stage. So I've the inner lip, I've seam welded in. You can see that, that's where I did the step. Just show you a quick close up of my welds. Try to keep the welds as small as possible because I'm going to grind these flat with a flap wheel. Get this all nice and flat. So that's that. I've stopped it there because it's going to be to make another section under there with this lip edge. I don't know if you can get in on that. With this lip edge, I was pinching it with the um, the welding grips. And I just worked my way down. I just filled, I drilled holes. There were like six mil holes from the joggler tool. So I drill, I punched the holes out first. And then as I, I just kept crimping it with the with the pliers, the gripping pliers. And I was plug welding it as I went down. So that's all plug welded round. I've kept the joint nice and tight there. Now I've seam welded that quite substantial piece of metal there. That's obviously for the the shock tower there, so that's welded in. I've done a seam weld down here. Quite happy with that. So, this, I'm quite happy with that. There's a couple of holes from the inside. You can see daylight through a couple of pinholes, but I'll just go, I might fill them from the inside as time moves on. So what's the next stage? So for me to carry on around this part, I need to repair the inner seal panel. It's rotted out there, which ultimately will go inside the car and you'll see what I mean. So inside the car, you can see my repair panel there. Quite happy with that. You get some lugs. You get some lugs here. Easier to clamp the fuel line back in position. I'll probably, I'll probably get the seam sealer when I get to the inside, and I'll just seam seal that joint. I mean, it's seam welded on the outside, and it's going to be fine. It's, I'm going to seam seal it and paint it like I did on the other side. So moving on to my inner seal, you can see here, quite bad state. It's quite bad the inner seal. What I mean about the domino effect now, because I want to do the inner, I want to do the inner, replace the inner seal sections, so I can finish up my outer floor section. But then in turn, the floor pans welded up to it as well. Quite a few layers of weld uh, there on the inside. So it's for me to free up the inner seal, I need to cut out the section of floor pan. I might just go ahead with the grinder and cut it out. I want to lose this plug. I think this is ultimately this is a, a problem point as well. This because the replacement panels just one punt. It's all pressed in. It hasn't got this removable plug, which can be a water trap. So I've got the panel. I think what I might do. I'm gonna get my grinder and just cut it down here, round here, then up to here. Then that will free up the floor pan, cut the rot out. Then that'll expose my inner seal. Then I can go ahead and just, I'm just going to do what I did on the other side. You can see it there. I literally just welded a plate straight down there. And that worked fine. You're not going to see it on the inside. It'll be carpeted over anyway. So I think I'm going to do the same there. I'm just going to expose it all here. I'll probably now work on the, on the inner floor now, probably. On the floor pan. I'll probably cut this out. Repair the inner seal front section first. Get my floor pan back in. Then we'll finish up the panels on the floor pan piece there that's going to be missing. And then ultimately I can go back outside and do the A panel repair post. Replace the, free up the chassis rail. Then I can see the extent of the rust in the chassis rail. Let me just give it a coat of something on the inside of it as well, like I did on the other side. So I've, I've gone ahead, 
cut the floor pan section out, the inner seal, inner rocker. I'm going to go ahead, I think, and cut it along there. I'm going to mark a line, I think, cut that all off. That's all rotten in there. There's about three layers at that end where I think the this is the inner seal, then the rocker, the A panel support sits on top of that, and then you've got the outer rocker that so it's like a three layer sandwich at this end. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm get I'll start cleaning up the inf the side of the floor, but I need to leave that because I'm I need to get the front bit finished. Then I can carry on with the rest of it outside. I can come back to this. So I think what I'm going to do I'm going to cut this. It's quite rotten in there. Then that will keep this top bit of the strength. I don't want to cut too much out. I want to keep some support there. So I'm not putting cross members in this or anything. Then I'll, I think what I'm going to do, I've got some thick gauge steel. I'm just going to literally just layer a piece across there. And I'll leave that bit at that end. I'll shake that afterwards at the end when I've got the other piece in position. Then I can start building my, building my layers back up on the outside. But what I was quite keen to see as well by lifting the floor pan up was the inner of the chassis rail. You can see the extent of that. It sounds quite thin, the metal. I might just do what I did on the other side, whereby I cut the inner section out of this. And I'll just put a new, I've got some thick gauge steel and I use the same stuff again I think and I'll just replace the inner part of that. This is actually goes under the floor here then goes back up to the engine bay but it's actually open up there so I don't know if it's rust is all just coming down from the top or something, I don't know. And also where the car's been jacked up underneath you can see in places where it's really dented the uh, chassis rail. I mean it's probably not a problem but I think it's what everyone used to do back in the day wasn't it? Just jack it up on them points really on the chassis rail and things but it's all buckled so I was thinking of just plating over the top of it but I think I might just cut it out I think I might just cut it out and replace it with some thick gauge steel so I'm going to go ahead next and get on and cut this section out I used a very thin one millimeter discs on the grinder they were really good